Hello everyone, this is Emma and welcome to online video course Piano Well. This is lesson number four and um, we're going to work with training book. You can download it for free on my website artofpianotechnique.com. The link is in the description to this video or if you're on your laptop then probably right there. <laughs> so, um, let's open our book on page Okay, on page 18, the topic of this lesson, why it, sound, it sounds quite familiar, right? It's timber with movement, string group of instruments. Again, timber with movement. So basically this assignment we're going to make exactly like we uh, did in the very first lesson. But now instead of, rem uh, instead of uh, imagining your voice, you're going to replace it with timber of string group of instruments and to be able to do this uh, you need to recall you need to remember um, how violins and cellos sound even if you can make it very easy i really encourage you to go on youtube and just listen to some good orchestra music uh, when you listen just pay attention to how violins and cello sound and um, let's do this right now actually the first music that just comes to my mind it's uh, Air from Suede by Bach very nice music I'm not even sure if you can hear it, but I will just give you an example. Just don't be lazy. Go and listen, really. It will help you to imagine sounds uh, clear. And first of all, you will just enjoy the music. <laughs> So nice and peaceful. I love this. Okay, it's better for the this. And when you pay attention to the sound, you can hear many, many levels. Like the in the first one, there are some violins, and somewhere in the background, there are some cellos, very soft and delicate cellos. All right, so uh, another one would be uh, Symphony by Beethoven, Symphony number no. 7, second movement. So let's go there and check this out. This is a very nice example because um, he gradually shows you all the levels, like starting from cellos, then violas, then violins. Um, you can hear it very clear. Well, first of all, it's just... By the way, when you imagine sound, why I suggest you to listen to orchestra, not just like, you know, like va one violin, one cello, because we want to transfer sound to our fingertips that will help us to um, maintain freedom while playing. More freedom, better. <laughs> so, as I said, um, what you imagine what comes out from fingertips and uh, this quality of sound you will get eventually. So we want to have a full three-dimensional uh, 
huge sound. That's why I suggest to listen to group, uh, to group of instruments, not just one, because we all know how violin sounds like. Quite annoying one violin, but when we listen and imagine actually an ocean of violins, uh, that will help us to make sound free and three dimensional and keep freedom in our hands while we're playing. Okay, so <laughs> here it comes uh, already violins, I guess. Yeah, so right in the middle the violas and now violins um, and we have again three levels. Violins in the first plan, then violas and then cellos, very very soft. Very soft. <laughs> you can barely hear the cellos actually. So it's quite interesting, you know. Listen attentively to the sounds and analyze which instruments play which part. Also love this music, love, love, absolutely love this music. Okay, and of course, vocalist by Rachmanina, um, which also gives a great example of uh, uh, soft sound, uh, sounded uh, strings. Actually, the melody here sounds quite clear. I don't really like that, but I, I like the middle part of texture. So, yeah, let's uh, let's listen to this. I like this part. go on YouTube and enjoy the music. <laughs> so after you listen to this, uh, just take a break and remember how all these instrument, instruments sound. And now go back to the book and start uh, imagining this timbre on particular pitch, on particular note. Okay, so let's open the book again. All right, so let's, um, please, for those who just joined this class, I'm not explaining every time everything, because it would take, it would take just an eternity. Please come back to lesson number one and watch this lesson and pass lesson number one, then two, then three, then, and then come back to lesson number four. In the description now I make a list of all the lessons and there is a link so you can just uh, uh, go to this link and it will bring you to, um, to the video lesson. So please don't be lazy, do this. Uh, so, very simple, what to do? Uh, sing and play note with second finger, we already know that right hand in violin timbre. So let's emphasize this. You imagine right hand in two line octave in violin timbre. So imagine a note in timbre of string group of instrument with movement to the right. So let's remind ourselves how C sounds. And now on this pitch, Let's imagine soft, don't try to imagine very loud, imagine soft, huge, three-dimensional sound of violins, many, many thousands of them, okay, thousands of violins playing this C, very beautiful, and in your mind, 
stretch the sound to the right along the keyboard. Um, so this is number one. The next one, play note while imagining the timbre with movement to the right. So now you're playing it, you imagine sound, and then you play it using all the right movements. Um, so now again you're doing the same with uh, C sharp, G sharp, and so on. Then you do the same with left hand. With left hand we use cello's timbre. You can imagine thousands of soft team of soft cellos. Remind yourself um, the, the pitch. With movement to the right and then play it. Um, then you do the same. Uh, now both hands. Left hand you imagine a timber of cellos, right hand you imagine of timber of in timber of violins. And by this time you sh already should be able to imagine them right away without that preparation step. If no, then still do the same steps as you did previously. Imagine them first in, suc in succession. Cellos, violets, and faster. to the left. It's uh, still in the same assignment. Yeah, so this is how we start gradually to uh, upload in our head uh, some new sounds that you can use to create music. Then you will use eventually them to arrange um, the musical pieces that you want to play. Very nice. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, so do this assignment, uh, leave the comments, ask any questions, and um, enjoy your day, <laughs> and I'll talk to you later. Bye.